up, guys? It's Will with Basic Gear Review, and we're out here in Ventura at Amigo Surf Cantina with Nick Maffei. How's it going, Nick? I'm all right, man. How are you guys? Pretty good, pretty good. So we're uh, we're here with the Seaside Band. Nick's gonna be playing tonight. Uh, let's take a look at what you got here with gear. Let's uh, what bass you got? Uh, this is a Fender uh, made in Mexico jazz bass, totally stock, the uh, Rosewood. Um, something I'm trying out. You know, I normally I play my my American P, but I don't know. I'm looking for something a little different tonight. Nice, yeah. nice, very cool. And then what are we doing with the amp over here? Uh, this is an Ampeg SVT Classic I got off of my buddy Johnny with uh, with a 410 cab. Sweet, sweet. And then down here at the pedals. Oh, let's get a little bit of a clean signal from that, actually. Let's see how that sounds. Nice, nice. All right, cool. So now let's take a look at the pedals here. Uh, what do you got going down here? Uh, I'm starting off with the Boss uh, TU3 chromatic tuner. Um, it's a good total, like, built for tough pedal. <laughs> uh, into my Ibanez compressor limiter. It's like an old vintage one I scored. Um, it's, like, made by Maxon, so it's, it's a good circuit. Um, and then that goes into the Boss OC2 octave pedal. Um, which I have the octave one all the way up, octave two all the way down, and then the mix at 12 o'clock, so I get both the sub and the clean. Um, MXR bass envelope filter, then into the MXR bass overdrive, and then to the EBS unichorus, everything set pretty much 12 o'clock, uh, and then the Boss BF3 flanger. Awesome. Can we hear a couple of them and see how you got them set up? Yeah, for sure. Nice, nice. I noticed you got that flanger pretty much at 12 o'clock. It actually sounds pretty good like that. Yeah, it's just a nice kind of clean. I tend to mix that one with the overdrive more toward like the end of the songs because it gives it a cool like real fuzzed out flangery kind of nonsense. And then the uh, the envelope filter and the octave pedal. Um, I sometimes I use the envelope filter by itself, but if I'm going to use the octave pedal, I'm almost always going to use them together. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was a great sound too. That was really cool. Like a synthy type of quackiness to it. Awesome, cool. Well, thanks for showing us what you got here today and uh, play well tonight. All right, cool. So I'm here with Mike. Now we're going to be checking out his kit and what he's got going here. How's it going, man? Pretty good. Pretty good. How are you? Pretty good. Thank you. All right, cool. So uh, let's see what you got going here. Uh, well, it's a Tama Star Classic, uh, all birch drum set. Um, I've had it for, you know, 16 years, and I just love it. It's uh, really nice. The birch makes a really, really nice tone. Um, really deep, but also really, really tonal as well. Yeah, for sure. Very cool. And then what kind of symbols are you using tonight? So I use uh, pretty much all Zildjian cymbals, K's, uh, K Customs with the Crash. It's a fast crash. It's a K Custom dark crash. And then this is really the pride and joy is the K Custom hybrid ride. So it's got like two different sounds to the ride. Like the, it's pretty much two different cymbals, which I really love. And the bell on it is just like, it's really good, you know. It cuts, yeah, for sure. This is actually mo my most recent pur purchased, and it, it's a uh, splash that cuts as well. The A Custom, you know, just really cuts through. And yeah, the way I tune my drums, uh, you know, not too deep, but pretty, uh, they sound deep, but I don't necessarily tune them very low. But they got really, really full sound out of them. Yeah, definitely. Those are really nice. You got a preference in heads that you use? I used to use Evans heads for forever, and then recently I switched to Aquarian, and uh, it's just, I'm never gonna switch back. Aquarian's just the way to go with these he with these drums. And what size are the toms and the snare and everything? What size? Are you so I have a 10, 12, and a 16, 14 inch snare. It's a 22 inch bass. Standard sizes: 10, 12, 16. Uh, 
I do have a lot more, but that's what this is right now. Um, this is a dream splash, dream symbols. And this is a really, really nice one. It's, it's almost like a mini crash, you know? Like it really, it sustains, it cuts through, you know? It holds out, yeah. Zildjian A custom, uh, new beat hi hats. These are like standard industry. Um, I heard that these were like the most recorded hi hats in history, you know? So pretty. It's nice and dry, so I, I can see why that is. You could really mess with them EQ wise. Yeah, I'm pretty pretty proud of the whole the whole kit. Awesome, cool. Well, you want to do a little playthrough? See what we can get going. See, take a listen. Sure. Awesome, thank you. Oh, yeah, that sounds beautiful. That's a great kit right there. Awesome. Well, it was a pleasure, Mike. Thank you for talking with us tonight. You. Hope you play well. Absolutely. All right, so we're here with Ricardo now. How's it going, man? Uh, it's going really well, man. And yourself? I'm doing really good, thanks. Okay, cool. So you want to show us what you're working with tonight with gear? Yeah, I mean, as far as my guitar goes, this is a uh, Paul Reed Smith Custom 24. It's a standard stock, you know, guitar. Um, I got this one not too long ago, so, you know, I'm still getting used to it. It's a l it's, I'm used to playing a Les Paul, typically. It's a little lighter, you know, than your standard Les Paul, but I mean, it's, it's a beautiful, the first thing that I thought about it was the neck, man. Yeah, I was just going to say neck from Les Paul is a completely different thing on piano. Well, I mean, I, that was the thing that I think fell, I fell in love with first, you know, so, yeah, no. I, nice, yeah, it's a beautiful thing right there. Cool, man. Yeah, so, it's, it's pretty, it's, it has a five-way toggle switch right here, you know, so, um, you know, two humbuckers, but you can split coil them, which is kind of cool, so it kind of gives you that in-between sound between a Les Paul and like a... Uh, a strat kind of thing going. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not not too much either way, but nice in between, you know, so, you know. Nice, cool, and then uh, what kind of amp are we running through tonight? I'm running through, uh, this is a uh, Mesa Boogie Mark IV. Um, I got this thing, God, it's it's seen some better days, but it's a great amp, man. I, 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 I couldn't be happier. Um, I think I've had it for about, probably about 10 years now or so, you know. Um, but um, yeah, no, nothing special about it. You know, just your standard six L, four six L sixes in the back. I run it um, tweed power though, because you know I, I play tend to play you know smaller venues here. This is 85 watts of tube power, man. It'll blow it'll blow every everybody away, you know. So, but I mean I love this thing, man. The uh, the high gain channel is like it's like phenomenal, man. You know, I mean I hate to quote a cliche, but the sustain just forever, man. You know, you can't go wrong with Mesa. Mesa's yeah. some of the best stuff I've heard. So definitely, yeah. So you know, I, I shopped around for a while, but I ultimately settled on it. And I'm, 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 I've been happy forever. So nice, yeah. Ten years. I'd say that's a pretty, that's a pretty good workhorse right there. Cool. So let's move on to the pedals now. You want to show me what you're working with here? Yeah. Well, you know, standard tuner right here. It's a what TU3, I think it is. It's just your standard Boss tuner. And then from there, I go into my Wah Wah. This thing's kind of cool. I just picked it up recently because my last Wah Wah kind of died on me. Uh. But this is a mini uh, Dunlop Crybaby wah pedal. It's, it's the same thing. It has the same sound and, you know, same circuitry, I think. And it sounds great, but it's, uh, it's about half the size. It takes up, like, no space on my board. A little bit smaller real estate there. It's pretty cool, you know? <laughs> so, and then um, next over here, it's just your, uh, it's a Maxon. Um, it's like a, basically like a tube screamer. It's the, you know, like a old school sounding tube screamer, you know? I mostly dial back the gain. And I just use it as a bit of a, a boost, you know, yeah, for just for the, just a little bit more, you know, for the for you know little if I go into a solo and I don't want to, you know, jump into like a crazy high gain thing, you know, it just kind of gives me a little bit of a little boost that I need, right? And then from there I go into this super trim. It's just a tremolo pedal, and it's it's kind of cool. I don't use it for a lot of songs, but uh, it sounds really cool, you know. I I really dig it, man. Yeah, I heard you messing with that earlier. It sounded really cool with the Uni vibe too. That was sounding good. It's cool because I have like these. Um, well, first of all, it, I can go like um, half speed here. So if like if I were to turn it on here, if you hear it, so right here, cut it half speed, and then right here, this is like it'll like you hear it, and you hear it kind of dips down more, you know. So. And then it goes into just a carbon copy right here. Just your nice little delay. I use it for leads and kind of cool. Little. Yeah, 
And then uh, from there, just into this Univibe that Nick sold me on, you know. He said, you got to get it so you can do those Hendrixy kind of things. And it actually kind of works for pretty cool. So, you know. Kind of gives you that underwater feel, you know, pretty out there. So. Yeah, that, I love Univibes. And then this is just uh, reverb pedal, you know, just for a little extra reverb, you know. That's it. What setting do you keep that on? Really simple. Huh? What setting do you keep that RV6 on? Oh, I, I, I tune it down. I, I have it down pretty low here if you see like i'm gonna say like what is that uh, it's about at nine o'clock yeah, like uh which uh reverb type you use um i've been still experimenting also with the different kinds that are there so i, I change it all the time because yeah, the rv6 has so many it's so cool it's, it's 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 overwhelming you know the options you have with it but i, I think it's a great pedal you know it's cool yeah. awesome cool well thank you very much it was got a lot of good stuff on there it was a pleasure meeting you have a good one play well tonight man all right this is will with basic gear review we'll see you next time